Welcome back everyone. So here's my second attempt to make a nice cup of espresso using non-pressurized basket. Now I already posted a video where I used the pressurized basket and it was a breeze. It made a nice espresso but when you use, when you use a non-pressurized basket you have to be careful. You have to have freshly roasted beans plus you need to make sure you get the right grind size. They call it dialing in an espresso. So that's what we are going to do today. We are going to dial in and see whether we are able to get a perfect espresso shot using the non-pressurized basket. Now in my last video I did not use any of these tools. Um, the first one is the dosing cup. Remember the grinds were overflowing from my basket. I should have used that. That's why they sent me. Anyway, we'll try uh, that today. Also, they sent me a nice tambour. Staroso brand. So we will be using this today. Also, Staroso contacted me and said you should use a coarser grinds for the non-pressurized basket. If you don't use coarser grinds, that means let's say you used a finer grind size. Uh, that means the grinds are too fine and it's gonna choke now that's why you don't see a flow of espresso so they suggested me to use more coarser grinds and then i'll increase the quantity that's my plan to dial in today and it's time to make espresso so let's take it out remove the cup and then all we are going to use is this this part where the basket goes in so let's go to the grinder and get some beans and here I took another 18 grams of beans here my grinder size is at 3 I'm going to make it more coarser so let me set it at 8 that should be a good start this time I want to make sure I do the right way so I use the dosing funnel and then I'll just break the clumps with the WDT tool. I always like to do that. I don't like big clumps. Okay. And let's transfer it. Okay. So here, I have more room to work with this tool working all the way down to the top and I like to do this gently tap so that the beans settle in It looks leveled so we are going to use this tambour the star so tambour that's a good thing about the dosing cup you can use a tambour so that you avoid spill I'm not gonna press super hard let's see You can take out the dosing cup and it looks good. You can see a bit of pattern there, uh, the design of that tamper. So let's try this. This will be the first shot. I have now switched on my kettle, so I'll keep this aside. We're not using that. And then we will plug this in 
make sure you tighten it that's a non pressurized basket now let me bring the hot water and I'll use this cup so that you can see how the extraction is so I see the, the water is boiled so let's open the pump and then that's a water tank where I'm gonna pour the hot water as you know this water tank is 180 ml maximum okay we won't fill it up fully but that should be good so we can close the pump or the top of the water tank make sure you tighten it because it's gonna create 15 to 20 bar pressure in here so now it's ready for extraction so you open the pump using counterclockwise you twist and then pump 10 times for pre-infusion and then another 15 20 times for the extraction so let's begin the pre-infusion that's 10 seconds and then wait for five seconds and then start the extraction another 20 times that's 30 pumps and if you notice the the flow of the espresso was a bit quick mm, it looks a bit watery I let it finish and then we'll have a closer look okay that should be good so this will act like my dripping tray here's the shot now first thing you notice the crema is less compared to the last few shots let me taste it and see it is sour but this is better than the extraction I did yesterday so let me do one more attempt this time I'm going to use little more finer grinds because the flow of the espresso was a bit quick so that should fix so i'm going to use the same 18 grams but i'm going to reduce the grind size to be a little more finer so let me clean up and come back for the next shot and here i took another 18 grams exactly so instead of grind size 8 i'm going to make it more finer let's keep it at 5. So this time, let's do the same process. Don't forget to use. looks clean so let's use this so this is the second attempt so we got the the cup ready make sure you tighten it and then we'll open the water chamber the hot water is ready let's pour make sure you tighten it 
Okay, let's see the second attempt. Okay, another 10 pumps for pre-infusion and then extraction. That's 10, wait for five seconds. And then, oh, we see the first drop. Okay, let's begin. That's 30 pumps. Okay, this time it generated more crema and I see that there's some, still some crema being generated. There were some spurts. Okay, maybe I didn't tighten it properly, but um, the shot doesn't look bad. It looks decent. And let's have a closer look. I'll put a drip tray before I take it out. Okay, that's good. Now here's the shot. Generated nice crema like I mentioned. Here's a close up from the top. Very nice crema. Okay, it's time to taste. Okay, that is more balanced. This is more smooth. Very different from the previous shot. Now I can taste the flavors of espresso. This is very good, well balanced. It's very similar to the espresso cup that I made using the pressurized basket. I still enjoy the taste of the espresso that I made using the pressurized basket, but this is very close to that. I think I got the right grind size and that's how you dial in a nice cup of espresso using Staraso portable espresso maker. Now like I mentioned please use the links in the description below. Now those are Amazon links. If you use my links to buy any product including this I get a very small commission from Amazon. So that will help my channel and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe. I would really appreciate it and if you enjoyed this video hit that like button. See you guys next time.